I've been getting some questions and comments lately asking what video editor that I've been using uh, in my videos and maybe to provide some of the some tricks and some tips and stuff like that. Um, let me let me just say I'm not a professional at video editing by any means, uh, but I do know a little bit about what I've been using. This is Corel Video Studio Ultimate X, as you can see here. There are newer versions of this out and older versions, but they all typically edit about the same with some minor improvements and changes here and there. Um, it, I bought this on Amazon for about 35 bucks, and uh, it's been working great. It just comes with this box with a disc with a few instructions and uh, stuff like that. But uh, I figured I would make a series of videos uh, supplying some tricks and you know some, some of the ways that I edit my videos if, if any of you guys are looking to spruce up your editing skills and uh, your software. Uh, originally I started with just the free Windows program which worked for just the basic stuff but uh, I found that I've been wanting to add a little more than what it can provide and so I bought this. So let's get started, I'll show you, uh, show you guys around. Alright, so this is what the program looks like as soon as you open it up. You're brought right to the editing page and I'm going to try to keep this as simple as I can without over explaining it. For those of you who have not worked with any kind of editing software just yet, this will look pretty confusing to you. So I'll do my best to try to keep this simple and I'm going to bring you to just the features that you're going to want to know right away. Okay, again, this is the editing tab and uh, when you, as soon as you open it, it'll bring you right to it. You have one, two, three up here. Number one is for capturing. If you don't own a camera, you can use this to capture your video from your laptop, computer, whatever it is. Uh, if you have a, a webcam or something like that, you can use this feature. You can see here screen capture, which is what I'm doing right now. Or you can video capture and uh, you kind of get the, get the point there. But uh, I don't really work with this, so I'm not going to really go over it. What I typically work with is uh, uploading videos from the computer that I've already made. So this is the editing tab, and then you can see here number three is your share, and this is where you will save and you'll create your video files to upload them to a website, or you can create a disk with them. But uh, we're going to go over the really basics today uh, in this feature or in this video, uh, but uh, show you just the simple features that you're going to need to know right away. Again, this is the editing page. You will see right here is your timeline bars. Now again, this may look a little bit confusing, but bear with me here. Number one and number two bars here, which aren't actually numbered. Uh, you can see there's five of them. The top one and the second one are used for video editing. This is where you'll add your photos, you add your videos so that you can edit them. Uh, this third bar here with a T on it, that is for your texts. Now, if you wanted to add text, I'll show you that later on in another video. This last two bars right here are typically your audio uh, bars. And these will, if you're doing some voiceover, they'll wind up here. If you add some uh, music from your computer, they'll wind up down here. Uh, but again, that's for a later video. What you're going to need to know right away is this little handy little uh, bar here, which you can drag around. And it typically starts up front here, right where it's at. Um, that's your that's your timeline editor. You can drag that wherever you want and use that to split clips. You can use that to uh, uh, fine tune your video, <clears throat> but I'll show you that here in just a second. What we're going to go ahead and do is drop a video into this bar here to start our video editing process. You can do that one of two ways. You can go up to File and you can hit uh, Insert Media File to Timeline and you'll be brought to insert a video, insert a photo, insert audio. Now I do this a little bit quicker here and what I do is double click on the bar down here, right click and insert video, photo, photo, audio, yada yada. So we're going to go ahead and insert a video. And you can see I have here just a little clip of my dog chewing on a stick in the backyard. So we'll click on that video and it drops it right into the media bar for video editing. You can see that. Uh, again, this is your home plate. You're going to want to use this a lot. Um, you can grab that and just kind of drag it along. You can see where you want to start editing or where you want, you know, fine tune editing. But uh, we're going to use this to shave off the front of the video. Now you can see here, this would have been a great shot, but I have another dog walking in front of the camera. You can see her little tail there. And uh, so we, we want to get rid of that. We want to do a, a nice clean video here. All right, so by using this little home plate bar, I can, I can find out exactly where she leaves the camera, which is there. Well, right there. All right, let go of the button, 
and you're left right here with your media bar uh, with a line in the middle. Now you can shave off the front two ways. Double click on the video and you can grab this yellow tab right here and you can just trim it up by bringing it to your stop point. Okay, You let go and you just shave that off. But if you're in the middle of the video you can't quite do that because then you'll get rid of your whole front of your video. Okay, So anything you don't like that you just did you can hit this little feature here which will undo it. Alright, so the second way to trim off a portion of a video is to, again, find your stop point and the tail leaves the camera right there. Let go. Again, double click the bar. Right click. And there's a feature right here that says split clip. Just click that right there. And now you have two separate videos. Now again, this is the one we don't want, so we're going to right click it and delete it. So now I've just shaved off the portion in which that dog walked in front of the camera and ruined my shot. Okay, now I have a nice little clean clip of him chewing on the stick back there. And uh, let's say we wanted to clean up the, the end of the video. You can see there he gets up and starts walking away. By using this slider bar, I'm going to find the portion of the video in which he stands up, which is right here. And let's say we want to get rid of that. Okay, we'll leave him laying down right there. Again, double click on the video right click split clip and now we have two separate videos one which we can do whatever we want with so we'll go ahead and get rid of this one so we can right click and delete it now again if you just want to simply trim it up you just go over to the uh, click on your timeline here you can see I can just move this little slider bar everywhere I want if I, if I just click on it uh, we use the slider bar to find exactly where he stands up, which is right here. Double click on the video. Grab the end of the bar. Drag it to the point of stop, which is about right here. Let go. Now we have a nice clean clip right there of the dog just chewing on the bone in the backyard. Okay, really simple. If we were done here and we didn't want to do anything else to the video, we would just go up to the top. We would hit share. You can see here it says create video file, create a sound file, disks, create a disk. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to save this file to the computer so that we can upload it, say, to YouTube, Facebook, whatever. So if you hit create video file, you'll be brought to different formats in which you want to save this to. Um, what I typically use is the MPEG-4 <clears throat> and uh, I typically use this 1280 by 720 once you hit that it will automatically start saving you'll be brought up with a loading bar that's indicating that it's saving to your computer from then you can find it where it's at in the folder that you saved it to and then upload it okay well if you want to do a little more cleanliness to this video which is why we bought a video editing software uh, to clean up a video you want to use some transitions okay so here's some of the some of the fun features that you can use with this uh, editing software. Okay, these are your effects that you can use. You can see there's a whole plethora of them. There's a slider bar here which you can slide up and down to see all of the effects that you can do. Now what we want to do is a transition. A transition is a way to really clean up the video so that it's not just an abrupt start and an abrupt stop. You can see these transitions here. Um, if you click on each one, it'll give you a slight indication of what's going to happen, or you can just watch what's happening here. Uh, typically up front, uh, when you start a video, you want to use the fade to black one. We'll grab this one, and we'll drag it down to the front here. And you can see it's automatically going to try to place itself right here. Now if you wanted to do this to the end, you'll hold the cursor closer to the end of the video, and it'll drop it right there at the end. So let's do this up front. We'll drop it right there at the front. And you can see it just inserted a transition right here. Now if we go up here and we hit project, we can now play the project as it is as a whole. Now you can see there it faded in just nicely, which cleaned up the clip instead of just an abrupt start. And you want to do the same to the end of the video as well, so that you have a nice outro, or a nice fade out, I should say. So you go back up to transitions, and you grab the fade to black, 
or whichever one you want. Let's let's just go ahead and go with mask. So we'll grab the mask, and we'll drop it down. And that's going to give it an interesting little flash out. So we'll hit play where the slider bar. We'll leave the slider bar right there so we can save time. Hit play. And you can see that cool little transition out there. So now, through the whole video, we have a nice clean clip of the dog in the backyard chewing on the stick with a nice fade in from black. Plays all the way out with a nice transition out. Just like that. Now again, if you wanted to share it, go up to the top here, hit share, create video file, and then we are going to save with MP or MPEG4, and I'm gonna just use 1280 by 720. Now it's going to ask you where you want to drop the folder at. Let's just say I want to drop it to where my stuff is at here. And we'll just save it right there. Title, uh, Corel Editing. Because I'm going to upload this right to YouTube. Hit save. You can see here I have a little rendering bar. That's where it's going to be saving my video. So I'll be uploading this to YouTube. Hopefully you guys catch it. And uh, for those of you who have questions on my editing and how I've done this so far. I'm gonna make a series of these videos showing you exactly how I've done it and uh, get a little more detailed later on, but uh, hopefully this got you just, just the basics and uh, some of the need to know for this video editing software. Once it's done saving, it'll automatically play the clip for you to watch it. But we don't need to watch it right now. So that's it for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a little like down there. Every little like helps. Uh, if you want to see more of these, just comment on the bottom. I'll be making a few more, but if you have any particular questions, just let me know in the comment section down there. Till then, we'll catch you guys next time.